it's really good this morning to be able to speak to you from the Robinson Hotel. And today was really a good day because it's the day that we delivered the results of the microzonation study for Port of Spain. This is a study that our ministry has partnered with the Seismic Research Center of the University of the West Indies. And to tell you the truth, I mean, Cabinet approved this in 2011, and there were quite a few challenges in getting it going. But I'm excited today because today is the first day that we have an output. It's a 10-year project, and the first output is significant because it speaks to microzonation in Port of Spain. So at this point, you should be asking me, what is microzonation? Yeah. Well, Trinidad and Tobago is susceptible to quite a few earthquake risks, earthquake hazards. And the Seismic Research Center for many years have been documenting the potential risk. But at the level at which they've been documenting it, we have now discovered and we now appreciate that it is possible to be even more detailed. And that's the value of doing microzonation studies. So we know more than just where the fault lines are. That is critical information. Now we have a better appreciation of how the ground is actually going to shake in any particular place. The document is available and of course it will be placed on our website. It will also be placed on, on the website of the Seismic Research Center. They actually mapped about 1,200 sites, so we are talking all over the core of the city, the waterfront, Woodbrook, you name it, the neighborhoods, in the dead of night, because they had to do this thing when the ground wasn't naturally shaking because of the number of cars that we have and the traffic congestion. All sorts of unearthly, ungodly hours, they were out there doing what was required. So we're talking about 1,200 sites. And this process took a year. It is time consuming, but it is exciting to know that now we have an output. So today at the Radisson, they came forward and presented the data. What is the data telling us? It is actually showing us areas of vulnerability that we need to be concerned about. So we actually have a map that shows us various zones and, and something that we call liquefaction potential. That means that different kinds of soils react differently to shaking. Reclaimed land um, is the least stable of soils. It doesn't react as well as we would like it to react. So it has a particular liquefaction potential. So what does that mean? Should we respond in absolute panic now? Should we declare I am never going to the Hyatt again? Or should we declare I am not coming to work in the Eric Williams financial building? That is not the response. What this data now gives us is more information than we had before. And what is particularly good is that it is also possible to map, to do instrumentation, they call it, to map buildings, how a specific building responds to the shaking that will come from an earthquake. So, we have a sense of what are the soil types to a particular depth, depth to bedrock, they say. So, they go all the way down until they hit bedrock and it produces for you a certain uh, degree of sedimentation. So you know the areas in Port of Spain that is softer, maybe that's a better way to put it, and the areas that are hard rock, that's the bedrock. Once you have that kind of information, now you can plan your, your designs to incorporate that. So for the Town and Country Planning Division, we are quite happy because we have to now find ways to incorporate this data into our planning permissions. It means we can condition now uh, developers to say you have to take into consideration this risk and show how you're going to mitigate against that risk. One must admit that there is need for further work. That definitely came out in the workshop today. There is need for further work, for future work we call it. And we are going to get our sister agencies to join with us again to drill down how can you use it. Today we have representatives from all sorts of interesting ministries like the ODPM, you know, the Organization of Disaster Management. So they too are going to work more closely with the ministry as to how do we apply it. We had representation from the Port of Spain Corporation, obvious that they should be here, and from other regional corporations and city corporations throughout the country. 
and we're going to take this further. This is just the beginning. One concern was shared though that I must speak to, because we're going to have to find a way to address that, is if it's only one urban area we're doing a year, can we wait that length of time to get the data to uh, use it and to, uh, to use it in terms of our policies and so that was a critical issue. So we're going to have to find a way to increase the resources that the SRC has, the Seismic Research Centre. Maybe we can do two areas a year. We've got to address that. So today was a good day. It's a start of a good process. We were talking. We were sharing data, sharing information. We're definitely going to take it a step further. So we're we so pleased.